What's going on guys? So today we see the helmet. We got a battle box. This one's a small one. All right. So we're going to dig right in. So uh, today I have the Warpath knife, which I am neck carrying. All right. It's a little heavy, but it's cool. Working out all right. Um, although I'm switching back and forth between this and the uh, Azula. Um, just because Azula is such a favorite. All right. So let's put that. Actually, I'll put that back in the sheath. All right, keep room. So, what's going on in this month's Battle Box? Battle Box, Mission Brief 81. I like this scene. It's really nice. Little dude just uh, living life out there. A little nowhere. All right, Mission 81. Holy cow, it's already November. The gift-giving season is upon us, along with spending time with family and friends. It's also a perfect time to break out your Battle Box gear and share the fun of the outdoors with them. Of course, we like to say that Battle Box is Christmas every month. So let's turn the page, see what Mission 81 of Battle Box has for us to add to our preps and future outdoor adventures. Yeehaw, Curran 1776. All right, put that off to the side. Might have to reference it because half the time I don't know what's going on in these boxes. I'm learning as we go. So first off, we have Rapid Pure Water Purification. All right, water purification system. That is number one for survival, as we know. Shelter, food, hunting, defense, all that kind of stuff. All comes second to having potable water. So, this looks like an interesting little filter system. Very simple. Instructions, a straw, and a filter. All right, so obviously a straw will go on the end here. Pop that on there. Put that off in the background. Obviously, looks like, you know, this pops out. You would unwrap this, which I'm not going to because I'm going to save it. It says purifies 25 gallons, filters 200 gallons. Okay, Pioneer Scout, Universal, interesting. So that's 94 liters or 757, or excuse me, 94 purified liters or 757 filtered liters. All right, for all my international friends. Let's go in a particular way. I don't know. Nope, I don't think so. All right, so you guys probably get it, but let me go ahead and open this up. In case you haven't seen this before. All right, so you look at the um, instructions here. Scout inline water purifier, installing the Rapid Pure Scout inline purifier on your hydration pack so you can put that in line. It's actually a really nice uh, option. So people who carry a bag with a hydration pack already in it, of course, you can just uh, you know use that to, to fill it, so you're purifying. Yeah, I mean, pretty cool. Obviously, like I said, you guys kind of get it. Um, I, again, some of this type stuff is the most boring, but some of the most important. All right, so let's put this back in the bag. I, uh, I keep a lot of different purification stuff. Everything you've ever seen me open in like uh, any kind of monthly club or anything that I purchased, uh, I actually have traded for stuff like this before too. Um, you know, through like Instagram, uh, the forums, even way back in the day, I was trading for different types of, you know, camp slash survival uh, type gear. So I put that off to the side. It's just good to have. It's one of those things that you just don't care until you need it and then you really care. But obviously if you were going anywhere near nature, like real nature, I'm not talking about camping on the side of the road, you know, by a river with major <laughs> roadway, you know, half a mile away. I mean, like if you're going out in the bush, the bush, the sand, wherever you happen to live around the world, the jungle, um, the ocean, wherever you are, you really need to just think about living, you know, and the worst possible case scenario and how you're going to deal with that. So, you, you know, the gear you take with you could literally save your life. So, but like I said, I mean, most times it seems boring to people, but it is super important. So next up, we have an emergency blanket. Again, super boring. Um, these are usually, you know, dime a dozen. I mean, you can get these for a dollar, literally at the dollar store, you can get them for a dollar at Walmart, sometimes even 50 cents for the regular ones. I'm not sure what makes this one better than those. This has a, an orange reflective side, it looks like. And then you have obviously the regular, you know, silver uh, side of it. Um, 2.9 ounces, this one is 56 by 84. Offhand, I don't know what the regular cheap ones are. This may or may not be bigger than those. Uh, but again, I mean, it is multifunctional. You can use this for all kinds of stuff. You can use it for your shelter as well, just to stay dry. Um, but they, these actually have saved people's lives, you know, although rare. It's one of those things, kind of like the water filter, just you want to have it, but 
day-to-day -day life, it, it's not useful. <laughs> you know what I mean? You'll probably never use it. It's one of those things like, you know, maybe carrying a gun or, or whatever. Um, you hope to never use it, right? But if you do need it, it's really nice having it. All right, so what else do we have here? So, Save Aqua. Save Aqua. Another... So this, no, this is something looks like it goes... Hmm. All right, so <laughs> let's let's figure this out together. This is an attachment, obviously, for like a spigot or something. Uh, I'm assuming that it just slows the flow of water, maybe. So let's see. Self-closing tap. Fits most water containers. Tough and durable construction. Installs in a few minutes. Light and portable. All right, use hose adapter to install. Save aqua tap on flexible half-inch diameter hose and solar showers. Um, yeah, I mean, that seems pretty straightforward. First line, CLP oil applicator. All right, so what is this? Oil applicator. Synthetic CLP gun oil. Oh, okay. Oh, this is really cool. We're gonna read this in a second here. But this looks like we have a nice brush. All right, so we have a brush tip. Um, I don't know if I have to crack this open or it's already in there. What's the other side look like? Just another way to get oil down in places. Is that, does that come off? No. Oh! Hmm. Okay, that's turning. <laughs> Let me read it before I break something. All right. So, directions. Ensure all firearms are unloaded and properly handled in a safe area before using Firelines oil applicator pen. Remove cap while holding the applicator pen firmly. Rotate bottom of pen clockwise until you hear a click. Continue to rotate until desired amount of oil appears at the tip of the applicator and apply oil evenly in a paint brushing fashion to all high friction areas of your firearm. Wipe clean, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's actually really cool. I'm assuming, where'd it go? I'm assuming that you would hold it like this so gravity would bring it down. And as I rotate, it's gonna basically, I'm assuming, open a little hole so it's gonna allow some of this oil to leak down and saturate this, this brush pen. So that's actually really, really cool. So you can get it down in there, you know, and, and put oil in all these little tiny spots where maybe you don't need a whole bunch of oil. Like this is great with, for the rails, like let's say on a Glock. You know, people, I, some people anyway, I shouldn't say all people. I have a tendency of doing that. Like, ah, oh, most people, well, not really. Some people way over oil their Glocks. It's just not necessary. You need the tiniest dab on your rail just to give it a little something. You know what I mean? Some people just glob it on there and they're just soaking wet and it's totally unnecessary. And sometimes when you over oil uh, firearms, it just collects more dust and more crap and it, it makes it worse. But anyway, this is nice to be able to get just a small amount in, in tight little areas. So that is actually really neat. I don't have anything like that. So that is going right into the gun cleaning kit. Very cool. Now, of course, if you don't have a gun, uh, you could probably still use these for knives, for uh, knife pivot oil. May not be the, the best option for that, but you can certainly put that on the brush head and maybe sneak those bristles down in between you know, your pivot area. All right, so you know, again, if you're not, not a gun person, you can probably use it for knives in a creative way. Let's put that off to the side there. Speaking of knives, I think we do. We do have a knife there. We're gonna leave that for the end though. All right, so uh, Duraderm Sport uh, Advanced Skin Repair. All right, kills, seals, protects, heals. So easy apply, push applicator through protective Tyvek. Point tip down, firmly squeeze center of applicator to activate the inner vial. Hold the applicator upside down and continue to firmly squeeze while applying liquid evenly over and around the wounds. All right, so because it's sealed, I'm not gonna open this up right at the moment because I will save these newsies, but obviously you can see there's like a, you know, kind of like a pet applicator similar to this. And you're gonna basically squeeze it to crack the vial on the inside. The liquid's gonna soak up and then you can use that on your wound. Very interesting, for use on blister prevention. That's kind of a, a cool thing. I do use, not often, but like if I get new boots or something or new sneakers and a little the rubbing on the back, like I got a pair of sneakers, I wanna say, I don't know, late last year or maybe early this year. And uh, I love the sneakers, they're really nice, but the back just rubs on my heel a little bit, so I gotta wear the mole skin, you know what I mean? So you don't get a blister, but something like this might be good. Just builds up the skin a little so you're not, you don't have that friction. Anyway, blister management, cuts and scrapes, chafing, fungus, burns, scars, post sutures. Uh, and of course you can bring it anywhere. I <laughs> like how, you know, these companies feel it's necessary to suggest it. You know, like, oh, I was gonna take it camping and boating and fishing and hunting. I'm in the military. Uh, 
I wanted it for my go bag and survival kits, but you know, I wouldn't have known to put it in my first aid kit. You know, or or you do all this, but you're like, oh, I never thought of bringing it boating. Come on, you, you just bring it wherever. I guess you'd have to fill up the <laughs> fill up the container, right? The packaging with stuff to sell it. Anyway, so that's cool. Again, boring but effective, right? We have kind of a theme going so far. Everything's been very boring, but it's super useful. So what is this? Let's see what this is. But the first, let's see what all this paperwork is. And we got some coupons in case you guys are interested in some of this stuff. It's good to save money. Power up. So LED lenser, which that's our light right there. All right, that's the last thing. Well, besides the knife, of course. So uh, save 25%. Um, there's a, a scannable code here. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can scan that. Let me let that focus a second. You could try to scan your screen. Maybe that will work, maybe not, I don't know. First line here for that pen. That was a very cool, oh, another scannable code. I wish it was actual, you know, numbers and letters, I could just tell you. Uh, and then the Duraderm Sport. This is giving the information about it. Oh, buy one, get one free. Promo code is BattleBox. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's check out this flashlight here. The ML6 from LED Lenser, it's a lantern. 750 lumens, 240 hour runtime, patented micro prism technology. Alrighty then, let's uh, pop this open. Let's see what's going on here. Come on, sometimes you need a knife. Not the cut stuff, I'm not prying. Well, I guess I am prying, but I'm prying cardboard. So I'll give you that pass. People tell me, oh man, Jeff, I broke the tip of my knife off. So I'm like, what are we doing? Are you prying? I'm like, yeah, I was prying. Well, you could pry cardboard, but that's it. Don't pry anything else. Or don't listen to me at all, because <laughs> you don't have to. All right, let's dump all this stuff out here. We have our light. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's actually heavy. It's pretty heavy. We have an interesting looking base here. All right, that's packaging. We've got a battery. we got a little oxygen thing oxygen pack there's our instructions packaging charging cable a bag storage bag put those no nope. okay all right so little rubber top there looks like they're on and off obviously the battery's not in it right now this looks like it is let me use my knife here yes it is a magnet on the bottom so how does this uh how does this work without looking at instructions yet Oh, that's cool. That's the charging port. I like that. Also, you can loop the strap around something. That's pretty cool and simple. And we get to our battery. Twist. The middle's moving. The bottom. All right. Let's read it. To fully close the battery cover, screw the cover all the way in. All right. So I'm assuming that that is the battery cover. Yes. Well, we'll know when I open it. Yes. Okay. So... I'm going to say positive down. Hopefully that's it. Make sure not to um, cross thread anything. Going slow. Okay. Screw this all the way down. Okay, right there. That bottomed out. So, let's turn on. Long press. Yes, long press. Cool. Okay, so it does ramp. It's a long press, that's what it is. So the, the single press is not doing anything. All right, so the blinking is just, hey, you're at your lowest or you're at your highest. So push and hold, and it ramps. Let me go on the lowest here. So you guys can kind of see that. See how there's lines here? It's like they have this, almost like a filter. Almost looks like a coffee filter or something. And it has some like slits in it that allows light to pass through. And they have it in both directions. Like one inside the other. That's why I guess they're prism technology is I don't know it's kind of cool though I have to say I do like it it gets uh, pretty darn bright here all right definitely works fine as an area light there is a base I think looks like a base doesn't it maybe maybe not I don't know there's a hook on here pops up so you can hang it so maybe that's for the top I gotta look at that in person closer yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like it looks like it's a base, but it doesn't fit on the bottom. Hmm. 
Ooh, all right, well, the circle in the middle, <laughs> it changes colors. We got the red, does that ramp up and down? Yeah, it does. Go back up, okay. White, red, so just white and red? Oh, we got blinking. We got a blinking thing. It's green and red on the bottom. Very fascinating. A lot of stuff going on here. All right, let's see. Where's, yeah, I need the instructions, because there, there's a ton of stuff going on. There's a big instruction booklet, too, unless there's like 15 languages here. It's like a town map here. Greek, Hungarian, Hebrew, Japanese, Croatian, Cro Croatian, Croatian, uh, Selenian, Russian, Turkish, hun Hungarian, Romanian, Korean, Polish, Chinese, holy moly. On the other side here. Portuguese, Spanish. I got excited because my wife's Portuguese. She could speak and read Portuguese as well as Spanish. I barely know English. Dutch, German, Italian, Norwegian, Finnish, <laughs> Slovak, Czech, uh, did I miss any? French, Danish. Ooh, I can go for Danish right now. Uh, English, here we go. I feel welcomed. All right, intended use, product to be used as lamp. <laughs> Read the instructions, yes, I'm trying. I'm trying very hard. Um, notes on battery, notes on repair, notes on handling a product, all right. So, do not wear product with headband around your neck. Do not use product as a tool. Uh, well, I think they mean like don't hit stuff with it. Risk of heat buildup. The product is uh, covered during operation, so don't cover it so it gets hot. I guess the LEDs. Um, the product correspond is risk group two. Okay, whatever. I'm trying to find some like instructions here. The eye's ability to respond decrease under the influence of drugs, medicine, and alcohol. Risk of retinal lesions. Wow. Okay, um, wow, where are, <laughs> where's the simple, like, UI? That's what I want to know. Well, hold on, I gotta flip this over and look around. There's, there's a lot of language here, but I think it literally says the same thing everywhere here. So I have to just play with it to figure it out. But you guys saw, you know, I think you're over it, to be honest. Um, you're like, just move on, Jeff. What's the knife? What's the knife? Very cool. I think. I think it's cool. I don't know. I, I want to say that would be a good base, but again, I can't take this off. This is magnetic. I don't know. I'll figure that out. I'll figure it out on time, I suppose. Wait a minute. Oh, duh. It's the actual... Holy moly. Okay. This is what I wanted. Batteries we got. That we got. Here's what I wanted. Okay, white, red, blink, white, and red, blink. Okay, so you can kind of see. They actually make this pretty, pretty simple, I suppose. Um, and then the bottom here, you can see our the power for ramping, ramping up, ramping down. Uh, da, 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 da. I wanted to see how the base was used. Is there a picture there? Am I missing something here? Am I just not I have to force it in there? Is that how it works? You gotta force stuff? No, I don't feel I don't feel like I have to force it in there. Yes, yes I do. I did have to force it in there. Alright, I didn't want to break it. So there you go. So now you can hold it upside down, upright, ba okay, cool. That's all. We're moving on. We get it. But it does. It does uh, work as a charging station, like a bank. That's what the USB side is. So that's very cool. I actually really like that a lot. I think it's I think at this point, you know, a lot of flashlights should be like that. It's like, alright, your flashlight, but in an emergency you should be able to you know, run uh, some of the energy into your cell phone or whatever. Okay, finally moving on from the flashlight. I do think that's cool. Actually, um, the last battle box, we got that LED lens with flashlight, which I want to do a separate video on because I really like it. I just think it's cool. All right, so the knife, the knife. We have a Revolt Reflex. I don't think I'm familiar with the Reflex. So let's see what this guy is all about. Ooh. Oh, wow. All right. So this looks like an upgraded, beefier version of that previous Revolt knife, the one that I dyed. 
This looks really cool, actually. And of course, we are familiar with the uh, design. Oh, you know what? I know, I know that there, there's a designer that made this knife. This is a, a version. I'm assuming a more affordable version of another knife like this. I can't off the top of my head think of it. You guys could probably remember it. Where this kind of goes all the way up, but then it does click in in the bottom. It does almost like lock. Even though it's not necessary, because obviously with the handle design here, there's no way for this to fold on you. It's impossible. The handles, both handles would have to break or something. The blade would have to snap off and then hit you. So it's it's a, a perfect lock in that sense. It's never going to fail. But I, I feel like that's so familiar, where the bottom just kind of pops in place. All right. So it, it's similar to like the Kershaw ET, of course, you know, all those toggle the toggle design, external toggles, what the ET standing for. Um, I'm trying to think of the other companies. There's, there's obviously a custom maker, I think, who originally came up with it. And then there was production companies that, you know, major knife brands that put out a couple. Quartermaster, the Quartermaster General Lee, you know, they had their version of it, which is very nice. Uh, but this is super, super cool because I know this is going to be a little bit more affordable for people. All right. Yeah, at the very end, you kind of snap that in so it stays in place. It is super smooth in the hand. I really like this. I love this blade, full flat ground blade. Um, let's see, does this show any specs on it? Curious on the, let's see, reflex knife and bronze. Uh, I guess the paperwork will show maybe the blade steel. But I am definitely digging this thing. Yeah, I just, I really, really love this knife. I love everything about this. This one is the bronze one. I don't know if there are other colors. I'm gonna check the paperwork in a second here. Um, you see pocket clip is swappable to the other side, which is very nice. This is super smooth too, very rounded. So here's a shot of that closed. It is just super cool. Let's dig it. Um, let's see, opening this up. All right, so you open it up all the way with the thumb stud, but then as you grip it, again, it just pops that piece in, it locks it in. All right, so it's just, it's just not going to close, it's impossible. Super, super cool. That is an awesome, awesome ending to a very good package. Although it was pretty boring. It started off pretty boring. Useful, yet boring. And then I think the light kind of uh, started to excite me quite a bit. And this knife is just the real topper. It, the knife usually is. I mean, we all love gear. I, I shouldn't say that because, I'm, again, I'm assuming what you like. Maybe you hate knives. You don't even care. And you're like, wow, water purification. That's why I watch these videos. I'm into the water purification. Uh, but I think it's safe to assume that most people get excited. <laughs> For the knife right we're knife people so all right let's check this out here so yes we got the spigot and adapter very cool um the gun oil pen is actually really interesting i'm, I'm actually excited i'm breaking out my uh, ar for a um uh, a little uh cleaning session a little bit later today uh, as well as checking out a new um weapons light so I will definitely um, clean it up and I'll, I'll use this. I'll see how that works out. Uh, Duraderm Sport, again, just again, boring, but super, super useful, as is the straw here, the uh, Rapid Pure Pioneer straw. So you can see how this, is a, this little whole filtered bowl section here goes right into your water source and you can just drink directly from the straw. Um, the emergency blanket, again, don't know anything specifically you know, unless it's very large compared to the, the regular little dollar ones. This shows a retail of five bucks. Um, or an adult reflects up to 90% of your body seat back to you. So yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it might just be a better quality one. It's not as thin, who knows. Uh, but then the LED uh, lenser, ML6, pretty interesting. And then our knife, this is what I really wanna see. So, Revolt Reflex. All right, normally a hundred bucks and it is, VG10, that is a very, very nice surprise. Uh, I, I was almost gonna say this is gonna be like AUS8 or something. I'm super excited now. I mean, I liked it regardless of the steel. I can sharpen my knives, it's not a big deal, but the VG10 is, is I'm a huge fan of it anyway. So this one's definitely gonna be carrying news, and plus eventually it's gonna go into my unique knife mechanisms collection anyway. So I'm gonna read about this for a second here. How often do you show off your EDC knife to your friends and family? I do all the time. Uh, it's kind of a game we play. Hey, pocket dump time. Let's see what you got. I know for me, I hope that, or I hope that I have something unique and simply cool when the question comes up. Well, this pocket knife uh, right here hits all the unique points, in my opinion, especially with its really cool frame lock design. 
It is lightweight and perfect for EDC with uh, 6061 aluminum alloy scales, VG10 flat grind blade, and reverse pocket reversible pocket clip. 20 lucky pro subscribers will get a titanium scale version. I say yeehaw to that. Wow, all right, so I'm assuming that's completely random, but 20 people will get a tie. Like, I would definitely, like, I'd be interested in the tie version of this. I'd probably trade for it. Uh, I don't know what they would cost, so I'm not sure if I'd buy it, but if someone had one and they wanted to trade, I would certainly be interested in that. It's just, uh, I, I really like the knife. I like the bronze version here with aluminum, but I can imagine the tie is even cooler. So that's it for Battle Box number 81, ending on a very cool note. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. If you happen to get a Battle Box and you got a titanium one, let me know. I'm curious to see if one of the 20 people who happen to get one of those watches this video so be sure to comment and if you happen to see that comment on here everyone give it a thumbs up so it can get some attention and i can see it <laughs> i'm just curious uh but anyway that is all hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care